I got another one of these fell off. The civil one. Mark. Oh, you didn't tell me you were going to be on. Mm -hmm. Start over. No, I'm already live. Oh. Sorry, everybody. Mm -hmm. Start over. Thank you. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> this may be crazy. It's only 7.30 here. So I'm looking for something to do. And one of the, I've got a lot of things I should be doing, but what I'm going to do <clears throat> is Hamilton and I, hey, Ham, come here. Come over here and say hello. Come here. He's just looking at me like, <laughs> what? what? He'll come back. Um, I'm going to be totally transparent. And I'm going to work on a Wikipedia page <clears throat> and talk my way through it. It's kind of rainy over here, cold. So it'll be nice to kind of hang out with you guys. <laughs> hey, Richard. So if you want to chat with me, you can. But if you want to help me rewrite the Wikipedia page, you're more than welcome to help me find the references because I don't have any idea what I'm going to do. I have one reference and it's like a quarter of a paragraph long. So what I did is now when you're going to work on a Wikipedia page, I like to rewrite stubs. It's very hard to re to write a Wikipedia page, a brand new Wikipedia page, because you have to prove notability. Proving notability is a pain. There's a lot that goes into it, which is why you really don't write Wikipedia pages you guys are just watching me just be me. So um, if I scratch my ear or whatever, that's just me. I'm not thinking about it too much. My hands are really dry. So I'm getting some lotion out here. Um, what happens is that, I mean, I have lists of things people in the team can rewrite. <clears throat> but I'm not necessarily going to... Um, assign anything to anybody. I mean, there have been times over the years where we've said, let's work on all things vaccination. We'll spend six months working on vaccination pages, anything you can think of, virology, anti-vax or whatever. And then there was a time we did, let's just write Wikipedia pages about books. And then another time we said, Cosmos is going to be coming out with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Let's spend six months writing Wikipedia pages associated with the, with the, Cosmos series, um, topics, astronomy, and we've had a lot of luck doing it. It's kind of fun to do that as a team. You know, people don't have to do it if they don't want to, but, uh, you know, it's fun. So I personally like to rewrite stubs. I also like to work on pages that I can use newspapers.com. So I do a lot of historical uh, things that are in history and I like things in America because it's easy for me to find the Wikipedia pages. I know Richard Saunders really likes Trove and I guess if you wanted to work on pages that are uh, American, I mean not American, but Australian <clears throat> you could do exactly what I'm about to do and use Trove and I know Trove does use, have a searchability of with America in it, but it's not as common, but he uses Trove Yep, he's, I can see off from the corner of my eye, the chat. So I'm going to work on a page and I'll talk my way through it. You guys can see if you want to hang around and watch me edit. Well, <laughs> okay. You might check in every so often and see how I'm doing. It's 7.30, four, where I'm at. All right, so the page I picked out is this one. <clears throat> And, you know, I've done a ton of, I think I've done 65 pages so far. And this is 1984 Hudson Valley UFO sightings. I know zip about it. I've written quite a few pages on UFOs, but as a historical kind of thing. So, oh, I wanted to share over to, I'm going to share this really quick. I think I can. Maybe, maybe I can. 
Mà còn mang đi chơi. Maybe something's covering it so I can't see. Okay. Well, I don't know. I will do this. I'm going to just leave a message here. Oh. Okay, I'm just leaving a message. So I'm sharing this somewhere. Okay. I hope you guys are reading this over while I'm while well, I'm making that writing a message. <clears throat> All right. So this is the 1984 Hudson Valley UFO sightings. And you guys can see this right now <clears throat> by going to Wikipedia. And it is a historical page. It's going to be in newspapers.com. Um, I have a few books on UFOs here in my house. And they are before 1984. So they're not helping. I've got um, Robert Schaefer's book, Psychic Vibrations here. And I went, I looked at the index. I've used this for references for other things. <clears throat> He's an expert in UFOs. And on page 41 of his book, there is a half a paragraph. It looks interesting. I, I might be able to use that somewhere in the article. But it isn't anything that's going to give me a lot of depth. So when I work on these pages, I'm picking what I'm going to look at. I don't know to find this page. What I do is I typed in, here, I'll show you what I typed in. So I go to Wikipedia. Wait a second here. I don't want you to see my watch list necessarily, so. So I'm typing in category, and you guys can do this too on Wikipedia, category and then colon, you know, the dot, dot one, not the semicolon. <clears throat> and then I put in um, skepticism, stub. And what you get, <clears throat> let's see, is this showing? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so then you get these kinds of things. And you could type in here uh, flowers or botany or um, novels or whatever. And it's going to give you stubs. And stubs <clears throat> have to be listed. Somebody has to say, this is a stub. And they put this little, they put this little notification in here. This UFO related article is a stub. They put a little thing that's a stub on it. And then it goes into these folders. And there's thousands of these things. And it could be, let's see. Give me something. What should I have? Um, Australia. Category Australia stubs. Mass media. <clears throat> Sports people. Um, screen actor stubs in Australia. Actor stubs. Building and structure stubs. Government buildings. Engineer stubs. Oceana pol politician stubs. Baseball stubs. University stubs. These are all pages in need of being rewritten. And as I say, there are, I don't know, tens of thousands of stubs. Let's see. <clears throat> if I click on this one, 
There's a lot of, like I said, I don't know how anybody edits Wikipedia without having somebody to kind of walk them through it and help them out because unless you have a really, you know, strong coding background or something, I, I would be lost. <clears throat> so you can go through these and you can see here subcategories. And then here's ones listed. Here's free, free access magazine. And you can see it's a stub. See how it says that on there? Free Access Magazine is a free computer magazine <clears throat> distributed through major Australian consumer electronics retailers. So it's a stub that needs to be rewritten. So in the in the past, let me talk to you real quick. So Wikipedia has all these project pages. They have project pages for Australia, project pages for New Jersey, project pages for... Um, science, project pages for novels, project pages for newspapers. There's project pages that are all kinds of things. But what happens is <clears throat> it's supposed to attract like-minded people, maybe people who are from Connecticut, want to focus on Connecticut Wikipedia pages and or language. This is just English I'm talking about. And so they, they're not like clubs, but they're like these little groups that form and people, well-intended people, say, let's make a system of finding all the pages that need to be written, and we'll rank them like A, B, C, as far as how badly they need to be improved. And then there's all sorts of bots and stuff that they make to make it so it's easy for people to be able to find, um, well, thank you, Richard, um, <clears throat> to find things for it. Yeah. And so... What happens on Wikipedia is these club things start. They're well-meaning, but I think they're people who like to make lists. And they make lists and they come up with this idea of all these things that you should do. Let's work on all these pages on flags and or zoos or uh, novels or poetry. or <laughs> And nothing ever gets done. Uh, they start out well-intended. People come to the flock to it and say, yes, I'll do it. I'll work on it. And there is a category uh, project page for skepticism. And I tried to overhaul it, but it is mostly just not, um, not used. And part of the problem is, is because they're not social. There's just a bunch of anonymous people well, Wikipedia editor names. Most Wikipedia editors don't use their real name. I do, but most people don't. And they, um, these these well-meaning groups start and nothing happens. They just, they just, there's nothing social about it. Being a lone editor on Wikipedia without having anybody to talk to can get kind of old. I mean, you write a page and you say, I wrote a page, but then who do you tell? Who do you, who do you ask questions of? It's, it's, it's a lone wolf kind of thing. And it's so when I started GSOW, I started it off of Wikipedia and, and into a Facebook group, but I want the Facebook group to be private, which is the secret cabal. And um, it's so that we can, we can talk and chat and I can share stuff with them and they can share stuff with me and we can train. As far as I know, I'm the only group that trains, like has a full training program and we do it in multiple languages. I don't believe there's any other team that does anything like this or really anything like GSOW. There's nothing like it. And so let's go back to this Wikipedia page. Richard's already looked and he said he didn't see anything in the trove sections. So I, I have no idea. I have zip idea if this is going to be something that is going to be worth rewriting. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to put it up and clean it up and, and get it in good shape. So even though there's five citations here, those five citations may be the best there is. Um, it, it's already past notability standards. So let's look at this for a second. Okay. So it's got categories down here, paranormal stubs. Connecticut, New York, it's got all these things. Hoaxes in the United States. I don't know if this is a hoax. I don't think it's a hoax. I don't know. So remind me, you guys, when I get done, 
UFO hoax. If it if it become if it's ob obviously a hoax, I'm sorry, I got the hiccups. If it's obviously a hoax, then then fine. But if it's not a hoax, then we got to remove those. I think most Wikipedia editors don't do what we do at all. <laughs> Rewriting pages doesn't seem like it. This is what my team is kind of known for. All right. So let's look at the talk page. You can see there's this talk button right here. Talk. And two months ago was the last comment. It's stub class, New York City, low importance, paranormal, low importance, skepticism, low importance. So somebody rated those. Um, this article was previously merged from Hudson Valley sightings. If you find adequate sources to meet Wikipedia's notability guidelines, you should point that redirect at this article. Regards, and this is the editor who wrote it. Then they followed up, I, and that was September, July of 23. I have modified the redirect to point to this article and left a note on the page. So I don't know, what's the Hudson Valley sightings? Same thing. So they've redirected it to the same thing. All right. So I guess that went on. Somebody wanted, there was two pages and they wanted them to redirect to the to this one. Okay, here this one says, revert ex explanation. Moon bugle. Night Siege doesn't meet Wikipedia sourcing standards explained at general reliability of sources or friend. It cannot be used as a primary source in this article, according to whoever this person is. And then updated a citation needed. None of the citations listed provide an explanation for all the sightings reported by the witnesses, according to this moon video, who is somebody who's edit, made eight edits since January 2018. That's when that account was started. Okay, so this is somebody who doesn't really edit. Okay, they just came along and then they're... they're font is red because they don't have a user page. If you don't have a user page, that's kind of shorthand for, I don't give a rat's ass about Wikipedia. I'm just here to create one page or I'm so brand new. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, or I don't want anybody talking to me. So I don't create a user page. So that's, it's rude. All right. So I guess they tried to put a, put something in here called night siege. And this editor says, it doesn't it doesn't fall within the standards of reliability because there's certain citations you can use, but you can't use just any citation. Hi, Susan. There's another Susan here. Um, so <laughs> I know there's two Susans in the world. Only two Susans. That's all there is. Okay, so here is uh so this is a this is Wikipedia standards, <clears throat> reliable sources. It can be quite strict. I didn't open. Let's open it in the tab. Here's a reliable sources tab. It explains what you can use and what you can't use. And boy, is it! Um, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine having to read through this and understand this. This is crazy. Nobody, no, that's just too much. But this is this is a explains fringe theories. So when you're working on a page that's fringe, which is anything paranormal. Uh, then you're dealing with fringe and the rules are slightly different. And that's because we don't want to have, um, I mean, we're not writing about a butterfly or a rose or a boat. You're writing about something that can be kind of tricky. So there are special rules just for fringe, fringe theories. So, all right, let's see. So nothing really important out here that's a big deal. I mean, I'm going to add a topic just to let people know. Possibly rewrite the page. Okay, and then when you sign it, you put four of these little tildes and it types your name in there. 
Okay, so I'm just letting anybody know who might have this on their watch list. Watch list is this little star up here that I'm going to attempt to rewrite this page. So if there are people who are really engaged in this page or and um, feel very passionate about it, or maybe they're going through, they're rewriting it right now, then they should be able to let me know on the talk page and say, hey, no, hands off. I'm halfway through the rewrite of the page and don't touch it, you know, because it'll it'll be confusing or something like that. So it's just a way of being polite. It's not something that's likely anybody's going to have a, a big deal about because most people don't, um, most stubs have been stubs for a very long time. We can go over here to edit history and we can see what's been here. So the last page edited on this page is January 17th, 2024. And they reverted some stuff that somebody had put in here. Here's a bot, which is the things that go through and they just um, fix vandalism. Here's that Moberg person. And you can see how they're in red right here, all the different things. They, they started editing in November 20, 2023. I have no idea who this is. And <clears throat> the previous and you hover over it, you can see, come on now. However, the UFOs that appeared in the sky were proven to be fake. The majority of these sightings remain unexplained. After the initial wave of UFO reports, a group of pilots, okay, that's, and then if I go to the next one, they changed the wording a little bit. And then this person came in and said, uh-uh, no. So it looks like this Mo, Mo Big person tried to, tried to change the page to say, that the majority of the sightings remain unexplained when it had said before that they appear in the sky to be proven to be fake. So it sounds like somebody who's got an agenda, who's trying to, trying to, you know, make their point. Then they came back in here and I'm telling you, you, you shouldn't be doing this when somebody's reverted you and you don't know what you're doing. You shouldn't be messing around with that. And they came back in and they said, no, they changed it again back to what they wanted to do. They changed it to these sightings remain unexplained, totally against the rules. And then they added a citation. And the citation they used is probably what they were talking about on the on the talk page, which isn't a reliable source, you know, maybe a website or something. I don't know. I didn't, I, I'm looking at it for the first time right now, guys, with you. So then it was reverted yet again. And there, and the person reverted it said, this is not a reliable source you're trying to add in here. And it is not something you need to be, uh, it's not, it doesn't fit the fringe category. So then they went back. Oh my gosh, this person came back in and said, here's a, here we're putting a citation needed, <laughs> but I want to keep my um, edit. They couldn't spell, so they went and fixed it again. Okay, then the bot comes in here and adds citation needed. These bots are automatic. They make tens of thousands of edits a second or something. And then this person said, look. Oops, what is this person saying? The green is them. State police identify the lights as coming from a group of pilots in close formation and put the citation da, 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 and gave the citation, site news title, okay. And then somebody else came in here and said, better citation placement, remove duplicate, and just move some stuff around and put the UFO stub in here. And then came back and, and moved some stuff around. Okay, nothing big. So it doesn't look like there's been any big edit wars on here. Um, it looks safe to edit like nobody cares. Oh, the page was just created. Oh my gosh, this is a brand new page. This page, oh, this is because they moved it from one place to another. Remember they removed, okay, so July 2023 is when they moved it to from an old page to this one. All right. Okay, so it looks doable, right? Doesn't It looks like something we might be able to do. Okay. I have no idea if anybody's watching this, but that's okay. I'll just keep talking to myself like as if I've got like 50 people or a thousand people watching me. 
let's just be transparent. Okay, let me close these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the contents of this page and I'm going to put it in my sandbox. And I'm going to do that so that I can work on it out of view of everybody else. I mean, you guys are going to be able to see it, but out of view of other people. So here's my sandbox. They're all public or findable things. So I don't get it when people say that there's, um, you know, we're not transparent. How much more transparent can I be to spend the next, whatever, six hours or so watching, doing this? Yeah, this guy, this is going to not be fast. Okay, here's my sandbox. I can have as many sandboxes as I want. This is my main sandbox. And what I've done is I've taken the contents of the page and I've put it here on my sandbox so that I can um, edit, so I can go and um, clean it up. Now, I've got this, This um, some people have edit source. I use edit. I don't have edit source turned on. I don't like that. I edit this way. And it has um, um, in color because I've turned on some special tools in preferences that you can do. If you do edit and you don't have yours turned on like this and you want to know how to do it, then send me a private message and I'll show you how to turn it on so that your your screen has all these colors. It makes it easier to edit. Okay. So I have, I use a certain style and when I'm editing, this is a style that not a lot of people use. I um I think it's neater, neat, neat to do N E A T. And it's this R reference style. It makes it easier to read when you get into the weeds, because we're gonna be spending a lot of time over here. So I have this this green thing like this with all these little dots around and everything, with these little arrows right here right here means that you can't see it unless you go into the edit screen. So only editors can read this. <sighs> so I'm making it so that this is, um, letting people know this is my page, this is my sandbox. It's a draft. Um, remember, these are some other things. Okay, so then it has short description, alleged evidence of Bigfoot. Okay, well, that's because the last thing I was doing and my sandbox was something about Bigfoot. So I'm going to change this. Short description is whenever you're whenever you're Googling something or when you're typing in something, it's, it's a little tiny thing that comes up on your phone or comes up just like a quick little thing. So I'm going to call this, and I may change this, 19, oops, 1984, um, Allege UFO fighting in New York and Connecticut. That even might be too long, but I'm going to leave it right there for that. Okay. Now, what we're looking at here is this is the raw. All these yellow things here, these are citations. This right here, I'm removing all of them and, and I'm going to put them in a much neater place. These all got to go. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull up every single citation on here and put it and make a tab of it. So let's see what we got. Okay, here's this one, URL this one in green. I'm going to pull that up and put it here. February cell. CT Insider. So I have to tell myself, this is a reliable source and it probably is. It looks like it's a Connecticut magazine so let's archive that everything has to be archived as far as i'm concerned 
didn't. Come on now. Archive. All right. So what's the next one we're going to do? Looks like somebody did this in July of 2023. So if this isn't that old. I don't know why it's still stubbed then. Here's another one. Oh, it's New York Times. Hey, it's open that up. Ah, this is a uh, New York Times article. Excellent. So this is already archived. This is this is brilliant. I love it. Yep, somebody wrote this in 2023. Okay. And then usually when I'm rewriting pages, they're like haven't been touched for 10, 15 years. So this is really a treat to see something that's new. This might be easier than you think. This is Google Books. Oh, here it is. Books. Excellent. Newspaper is what we want. This is Indy. I-D-A-H-O-N-I-A-N daily, whatever that is. Nineteen eighty-four. Fantastic. So somebody's done some work on this. So again, why is this a stub? There's another one. There should be five altogether. There's five citations. Here's another one. And then Here's number five. Okay, so one of them came from the evening news and the other one was from Moscow Pullman Daily News. Okay, here's number five. And what is this? I must have copied it wrong because that doesn't come out right. Oh, I copied this equal sign is what I had copied. Excellent. So this is going to make it so much easier for me. This is another newspaper article. Who did all this work? This is great. Okay. So I can get rid of that. Now, what I want to have is I want to have an, um, what's it called, a uh, info box on here. So the easiest way to find an info box is to go to one. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> hey, I'm not ballsy. I'm being transparent. I'm showing people how to edit. Can't help it if they don't want to watch. If they think I'm hiding something. My gosh. Okay, so I need to find a template like an info box so let's find an info box let's find one from another ufo just real quick over here let me find another ufo page something that's an event like this so let's see let's okay this is a page i worked on and I rewrote whew, a year ago, Gulf Breeze UFO incident. So this was a stub and I did the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. Except I didn't do it on Facebook Live, make a video. So this is what I ended up with. And here's what it looked like before I started it. Um, This is what it looked like before I started. So that's what I started with. Ignore all this beige stuff there. This is what it looked like. And I said, oh, come on. Let's 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 rewrite this Wikipedia page. 
So that's what I started with. And I spent maybe 10 hours and I came up with this. See, much better, huh? I'm trying really hard to make this a beautiful Wikipedia page for, for UFO in the UFO world. It was really interesting too. So let's go into the edit screen so I can steal this stuff. So I'm going to take this info box historical event and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to copy all this yellow. And I'm going to go over to my sandbox. And I'm going to paste it in. So what I should have is the info box for the Gulf Breeze incident in the sandbox for the 1984 Hudson Valley UFO sightings. Okay. Then I want to copy the code that I used here for how I am going to edit the references. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Let's put that in there. And then I think the code I used to finish the reference. See how neat this looks? Everything's all neat. Oh, I just used those two. Okay. So this is a this is a rewritten page. It's, everything's all neat. The citations are not in the body of the article. They're, all the citations are down here in, in here. Very neat. And see how it's pink right here. It says verdict, councilwoman, bud 1988, dry up. These are all like calls, a way of calling. And you can see up here, here's, here's where they are, Florida today. Thousands viewpoint, found, thousands. These are where the citations go. Found, dry up, psychic vibrations, verdict, believing. Okay, this will make a little sense in a minute. So this is how I I call it. Here's Bud88. Okay, so I don't think I need this anymore. Let's go over here to my sandbox. So I'm going to put all the references right here. Okay. So let's change this out. So we don't want to have. Oops. So we want to have. I'll make you dizzy. I'm going to take out Gulf Breeze UFO incident because that's not what this is called. This is called. 1984 Hudson Valley UFO sightings. Is Hudson Valley in New York or is it in Connecticut? Okay. I'm going to take out the Gulf Breeze logo or the picture because I don't have a, a picture. Um, I'm going to take out the date. So it was summer 1984. I'll just put that for right now. I'm sure I'll find out more. The location is in New York State. Oh, here it is. And I'll double check this with the references in a minute. U S O S A. USA. Okay. Um, I don't have an image. That's that. Let's see what it looks like. Here's what it looks like now. Ta -da! Now we have an info box. And if I can expand it, I can expand it. All right. So, oh, I, let's look over here again. All right, Gerbic. Look over here really quick. It's easier to work on this other screen. What's it called? Gulf Breeze UFO incident. 
Okay, let's look at this one more time. So how I have it on the Gulf Breed VOSO incident is I have the event with the dates, the investigation, eyewitness reports, UFO research group response. The model was discovered. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so fascinating how this happened. Renewed interest after 1990 in the media, further reading references, and then I have external links. Okay, so let's do something similar. The events. So we're going to go down here. Okay, there's the lead at the top, and the lead is supposed to be just whatever the, what is the main bare bones. So let's put, leaving it, and then you put these little equal signs. Okay, then let's put investigation. Oops. It's nothing like trying to edit and do stuff on the computer whenever there's people watching, right? Equal, equal, investigation, equal, equal. And then let's put ooh, doo -doo. eyewitness reports. Now, here's something that most people don't know. When you're writing these, the first letter is capitalized. Everything after that is not capitalized unless it's a proper noun. Ah, I bet you didn't know that. Write home about that. Okay, then um, I wonder if there's a UFO research group response. We'll find out. If there is one, we have a place to put it. Okay, then oh, we don't have a model. Renewed interest in the media. See how that the media is not capitalized. So let's make it in the media section. I might end up deleting all of these. So it's only, it's just a guide for the reading. These are things that are not mentioned in the article. But like, you know, something to, to that goes into more in depth of whatever it is we're talking about. And then we already have references and we have external links. External links are also, we like to keep this small. This section should be probably uh, two or three links in there. Um, we, but because this has got 38 citations on here, that's a pretty good external link section. If you find this can get really abused, the external link area, people will try to put like spam and like websites and junk stuff in there. We want them to put, we don't want um, these sections to be abused. So we try to keep it really shortish. Okay, now external links and further reading usually go under the citations, I think. So let me show you what's over here really quick, because I think this is interesting. Because these citations here in the external links are things that don't aren't in the article. And for example, let's open this up. This is a newspaper um, clipping that I made, you know, from the Pensacola News in 1990, and it shows the the supposed uh, UFO. Oh, this is a faked UFO photo, and you'll have to read it to get in depth. See, here's the whole newspaper right here. If you click on it, it'll give me the whole paper. It's the whole newspaper. I can make it small. This is a clip I've used from newspapers.com. So as I said, I really like using newspapers.com. So what they've got in here is just the clipping of just the, the, with the model, the faked photo that they were using because it was a hoax. <laughs> Does that look hokey or what now? This is 1989, I think. Uh, so I mean, here's the house and here's the, the, here's the UFO flying over the house, they said. So that was in the newspaper. So that was one of the external links because I can't use that picture in here because I don't have permission to use that picture. 
And here is an editorial cartoon of the Gulf Breeze. Somebody made an editorial. This is a cartoon that was in the newspaper. Um, and of course, I can't use that because I don't have permission, but I can put a clipping and a link to it. Here's a model of the so-called UFO found in the home. And here's, again, a newspaper article. Oops. And this was a, what it was made with like pie tins. And um, these are drawn on here. It's quite interesting. And they found this in the, in the, in the attic of a house under the ins insulation. It's really interesting, you guys. I'm, I'm telling you, read the Gulf Free View of the o Incident. I learned so much when I was doing that. Okay, so now, now that we have that, then what we have is we have a bunch of content. Okay, so I'm going to, I, should I just remove these? Let me see. Let me look. It was made with like pie tins. I have to turn this back on, you guys. Sorry. I must have cleared it out. Like pie tins. I have pie to tins. Turn this back on, you guys. Pie tins. I must have cleared it out. Like pie tins. I have pie tins. Pie tins. <laughs> I must have cleared it out. Where the heck's the volume on this? I just had it a second ago. <laughs> Where the heck's the volume on this? I just had it a couple of minutes. Perfect. There, okay, now it's off. Okay. So I can sort of see your comments. All right. All two of you. <laughs> so should I remove these now? Could put these right here. Put these down here. And then I'm going to change this to the style that I'm going to be using, which is. Crinkle, crinkle, R, capital R, S C H M A L Z, 1984, 1984, uncrinkle, uncrinkle. Okay. So, I think what did I do wrong? I'm going to do something wrong. I just know it. Take a quick glance at this. I usually make my own citations. I usually copy other people's it look like that. And do that right? It'll need that. If you don't do this all the time, you, you forget. Okay, so this should associate with this. And let's put this at the end. I don't think we need a comma. We need to put the period there, though. I'll have to look at the citation that it'd be, be sure I've got this right. So already it looks neater. This is the content of what is said in the article. And then there's the citation. And if we look at it, 
You can see here's where I put those equal signs in the words. And then down here are the references. I'm missing, I'm missing one. S-C-H-M-A-L-Z-1984 has to be exactly this, spelled exactly the same way. I'm doing wrong. Hmm. Should be five years. I'm doing something wrong. stare at this for a day somebody's probably screaming at the thing nope nobody's screaming at me okay tell me how to do it right i'm missing something hmm Well, this ref name, right? Ref name equals, ref name equals. No, I'm gonna go back and say all these myself with the quotes and see if that makes a difference. No, but it's still not pulling up. Mm -hmm. Something really obvious, right? Yes. Those quotes. Yeah, that's right. Rest list, just like that. Well, I can't imagine what it is I'm doing wrong, but I'm doing something wrong. So let's figure it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. This one right here. This is the lead. I really just like anything in the lead. We need anything in the lead for reference unless it's really contentious. Ref name equals OF G A N G. Okay. Of gang. Our 
of gang. Of gang? Was it of gang, you guys? Of gang. Okay, that should work. There's the citation right there. And there it is right there. UFO and Indiana Point. That's still not working. Fascinating. Okay, well, let's continue. I cleaned out this one. I just put this one right here. That looks so nice. And then... Oh, this is probably why it's not working. Because this... is in here. So let's change that out. R bar, whatever I'm using, and then closed. Okay, so let's remove that. And then it's also being cited over here. It doesn't look like it's done right, but okay. And then this one is Different one. Afterwards, same one. And let's call this one equals um, Moscow. So then that goes right here. And then here, this one. Oops. So now this will be cleaned up so we can see what we're working with. Let's call this one. Evening. See, I have to put quotes if I'm if I have um, a space in between them. Oops. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four here. Four references. Okay, maybe I had done it right. I thought there was five. Okay, this is the preview. Here's four. Here is a neater version now. So, okay, so now that we've got that cleaned up and we've got a basics, this is just giving us a, a now we just go in and fill it in by reading the citations. And you can see how much neater that looks. It doesn't have all those citations, full citations stuck in the body of what we're editing. And every time that we want to use the Moscow paper, we have to use this code. Every time we use the evening news, we use this code. And they all will point to this, this, these here. And you'll see that the ones that have been used more than once. See, so here's one that's going to the examining some of Connecticut's most spectacular off, um, UFO sightings by Eric Ofgang. And here is two. That goes to the Journal News. Here's three. Goes to Moscow Pullman Daily, which we're calling Moscow. And four goes to the Evening News. And then here's two, which is the same reference as this one up here. And here's another one. Now see how these are local residents reported seeing objects about the size of American football field. Going to that. Usually in a V shape or a circle, according to the New York Times. The objects seen were described as having flashing lights, which one resident perceived as a UFO, letting us know it knew we were watching it. 
The objects seen were also described as being able to shoot straight up in the sky and hover in the air for extended periods of time. All this is from the same article, which is the journal news. So I, we do not need a citation here and a citation here because it's all one. It's all from the same article. It's all being cited from the same article. This, the sightings caused a sensation and many UFO enthusiasts travel to the Hudson area, Hudson Valley in hopes of seeing one. Our citations three and four is in there. So we need to get rid of this extra citation right here because it makes it messy and we want it to look clean. We want it to be easy for people to read. And then also the New York Times should be um, italics and that's not italicized. So those need to be cleaned up. Okay. And I really dislike having a citation at the top. So that's going to end up getting moved somewhere uh, before I'm done. Okay. So let's get this cleaned up. So the New York Times, this is, should be italicized because it's a newspaper. So I'm going to put quote italicizing little things on the side. And I'm going to get rid of this schmutz model, schmaltz, schmaltz 1984. Because see how it's used here? And then it's used here again. So this is all citation two. And then this is citation three and four. And they're called the Evening News and Moscow. And then citation two is called this. Schmaltz model 1984. And citation one is off game. So let's preview that and make sure we did it right. So did we? Okay, that citation's gone out of here and New York Times is now italicized. And if you mouse over it, it should go to the right place. Those are things you want to check as you go through. Stewart International Airport. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just mousing over it. New York Times, American Football Field. This county in New York, Dutchess County is another place, Putman County and Fairfield County, UFO. Okay, so we have, so far we're in great shape. All of these things are going to the links they're supposed to. And we have four citations. One, two, oh, that's what it pulled up. Like that. Get there to that. I can get rid of Gulf Breeze. Three, four. Why do I have five citations, you guys? Okay, here's one. This is the Connecticut Insider. And then we have the New York Times. Then we have the Moscow Pullman. And then we have the Evening News. What's this? What is this? The journal news. So this is one we haven't used yet, right? This is this is a citation that was there somewhere, but it didn't get cited. Oh, continued from A1. But this is the journal news. And what is A1? We we want to see A1, right? Evening news. Okay. So this right here hasn't been cited. Nope. The journal news, because we don't have the journal news in here, right? Correct. We have. Oh, yeah, here's the journal news. So that's, that's Schultzman 1984. So is this the first page? All right, I'm confused, you guys. All right, is this being used? Connecticut Magazine. 
This is not being used. CT Insider. That's not here. But these others are. But what I'm curious is it says continue from A1. So where's the clipping for A1? We need A1 on here. We're in page 10. So let's go to page one. When log in. We'll have to look it up on. We'll have to look it up, you guys. I have access to this. I just don't have access to it in this exact second. Ooh. Here it is. Here's 1A. Okay, so here's how to do this. <laughs> I, as soon as I close this, right? As soon as I close it, I, I find I need it again. Gulf Breeze. Okay, so what's going on is you've got this page, right? And then you've got the UFO on the back section. Then you have the back section. So you have two different clippings out of the same newspaper. And the way to do, you want to reference the two. So here's how you do it. Let's go to Gulf Breeze. And let me see. Let's try looking for continued. Here it is. Okay. Dusty Ricketts sightings put Gulf Breeze on extraterrestrial map. The Naples Daily News view via newspapers.com. Article continued on page 17 on 15B. So that makes both citations um it's the same newspaper. It's just like section A and section B, but you want it under one um, citation. So we're looking for sightings put Gulf Breeze on, okay, Dusty Ricketts. So we're looking for a citation called Ricketts. Now let's go in here and see how it looks. Because we're going to have a copy of this. Ricketts. All right, so this is how it should look like this. It has a citation, blah, 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 blah. Article continued, and then here's the next citation on, okay. So we want to do this. And let's go into here. And it's there. Is it after the reference? it's inside the reference so that last reference okay so article continued now I need to put the correct here's the correct URL this out, put the correct one in there on page 1A. Okay, so if we did this right, <laughs> then this article right here, this one, the Journal News in Indiana Point, that should be, oh, I didn't put the page number. Along now, they didn't do it. Here's how it should look. Before the article continued, okay. Right here, and it is page.
Do you guys remember what it was? Let's just pull it up. Start fussing around. I hope you guys aren't lost. Well, if you're lost, you're lost. Okay. It's on page 10. So this is page 10. A little bit of work. And this is the this is actually pretty easy. Okay, so if we did this right. This will pull up page 10, which is the body of the content we want. And this will pull up page 1A on the same thing. Okay, let's look and see that we did it right. You don't want anything red on here. Okay, so it says um, A, B, that means it's been used twice. The journal news. Page 10, retrieved on the 1st of December, 2023. Somebody else did that. Article continued on here on page 1A. Now, I don't like that there's not a space right here. See how that's not that's not neat. It's got like a dot and then the A's right there. So I'm going to see if I can make that. Put a space there and see if it does it. See if that cleans it up. A little things bug me. Much better. There you go. So that's done correctly. So now we have four citations, but this one actually has two parts because it's part page 1A and page 10. But we still haven't put this one in here. This is examining some of Connecticut's most spectacular UFO sightings. So let's cite that. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to the template site web. Here's the title. And I'm going to go back and forth. Here's the URL. I'm going to do this on one screen so you guys can watch me doing it. Normally, I would just move it off of, off of, um, and I, you know, go from, I have multiple screens. So I use one screen and copy and paste and do it much quicker. But because I want you to be able to watch it, Eric, E-R-I-K. Last name, E-R-I-K. I accessed it today, which is actually the 17th. But for some reason, it always wants to do that for me. Okay. And here's the website, ctinsider.com. And it's published by CT Insider. Oops, I didn't mean to click on it. Sorry, CT Insider. Okay, here's what the person who was made the citation earlier missed. Show, hide extra fields. That's what they didn't do because there's extra fields in here. And if they had, then they would have had these page numbers and and stuff like that, but they didn't do that. So let's go with the date. This article was written on April 18th, 2021. And it is important to spell out the whole word April. Like if you try to put APR or something like that, then you're going to get an error. And we're going to put the, we archived this, didn't we? We did. Let's look at the archive. Here's the archive, because if this page breaks, if the citation breaks, you know, where you have link rot, then you you have to sit there and search for it. It's a real pain. So this was archived on December 11th, 2023. Okay, format. Language, I'm not going to worry about that. Ref name, this is the name that we're going to use, which is, what are we going to use? Oh, we used off gang. I thought we were going to use this. There it is right there. Hey, nobody's telling me. Yeah, nobody's telling me that this has already been cited. 
So here it is. It was already cited. Why am I getting confused? But look how much meatier mine citation is. It's because mine has, um, it has the date. It also has some archive in it. So I'm just going to get rid of this. So again, we're stuck with one, two, three, four. And this one has two pages. So here's the Connecticut one. Here's the New York Times one. I'm missing New York Times. So again, what we're missing is the New York Times. How did that happen? Okay, let's cite the New York Times. Okay. No, but there it is. S-C-H-M-A-L-Z. Oops. The Journal News. Okay. January 12th, 1985. So it looks like there's two, two articles by this Jeffrey Schmaltz. One is in the Journal News and one is in the New York Times. Here's the Journal News, White Plains, New York. Where's the author of this? Look, the author is, is John Craig. So they had the wrong, they had the wrong, um, they had the wrong person. They don't have a person. Where's the person? They don't even have the author, the journal, journalist, John Craig. That's not even on here. It's this guy Schultzman. All right, so this is all messed up. This is why I like to do it all by myself and start all over at the beginning. Okay. Okay, we know this is right. January, is it? Is that January? I wonder if I did it. Yeah, this is January. This is the January, okay. The journal news. So gracious. Okay, so we got two things to do. Let's cite the New York Times. Gracious. Goodness gracious alive. It's a newspaper article. Show extra felt feels. Um, date. It's full all the way out. August. Okay, this is somebody named John Craig. No, no, New York Times. Yo. S C H M A L Z. Is that his name? M A L Z. Jeffrey. J E F F R E Y. And here's the URL. It's called Strange Sights Brighten the Night Skies Up State. And I don't like it when it's all capitalized like that. So we're going to get rid of all that.
Okay, that's better. Axing it today. Publisher is New York Times. Section one, page 25. Section one, page 25. Section one. I guess it doesn't have a section on here. Okay, so I'm not going to archive it because the New York Times has already archived it. Format quote. That's what you use with a quote. So I guess this will make sense when we go through it and figure out what the heck is which is going to which. Let's put near time. Jeffrey Schmaltz. Is that the right guy? Yeah. Okay, so this is Jeffrey Schmoltz. This guy shouldn't be Schmoltz. We've got to put a different name in here. We've got to do something else. This is um this is John Craig. So you have to put those quotes around it if you're going to use it like that. So these over here should say John Craig. We'll we'll double check these before we make them completely right. Once we get to the next part in a minute. We'll double check it. So let's add his name here because I think it's rude not to have somebody's name. This one doesn't have a name either. That is really rude. See how these I've just cited have the name of the, the person who did it right here? This doesn't have it. So we'll put it right behind here. And his last name is, and his first name is John. J O N. Let's give these people credit. And then you have to put a bar right there. See, so like that. Oops, that's got two. We don't want that. And this is do we have an author for the Moscow people? This is the evening news. Here's the Moscow paper. Okay, David, B-A-U-D-E-R. B-A-U-D-E-R. Oops, wrong bar. Uh, first name. I just think that you got to give these people credit for the the who's writing these, right? It's just rude not to do that. That was Moscow, correct? John Bowder. Okay, now how about the evening news? I don't think there's an author on this.
Oh, great. Continued on page 4A. Policeman's finger slashed. 4A. This is 4A right here, right? 3A. Sperm not infected. <laughs> I love old newspapers. This is 3A. This is... Okay, nineteen eighty eight. Four A. That's five A. What is over here? Aha. All right. Here's the rest of it. See, I wouldn't have even known that because it's not in here. So that's the evening news, right? Yeah, evening news. So let's do what we did here. Where do we do that? Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna copy, uh, uh, this is what I wanna put here so after gosh you guys just cited wrong okay there is no author on this one there's no journalist so we're not going to be able to put that there is a title there is a url there is an access date i could change it to today uh, there is a publisher. There's the publisher. And is there a date? Date equals... October 17th, 1988. Why are we using 1988? Isn't this a, isn't this an article about the 1989? Where am I at? Oh, 84. Okay, that does make sense. All right. So what am else I'm missing? I'm missing. Page number. E oops, equals. So the first one is on, that's 4A. It says one. that I want to write after that space. Mm, you know what? It's all on the same URL. So let's do this. Pages one comma Or a okay let's see if that works i don't know let's see if it gives me an error i've never done that before ah something's a problem hmm. 
Oh, the problem I'm getting is that one. Page one and four. Okay, that's right. So this is saying an external link and website on number one. Something wrong with off gang this one. Oh, that's a promise. Get rid of it. Okay, that fixed that. Oh my God, I think we're all done. Yeah, page. So we did it right. Pages. One comma four A. Oh my gosh, it only took forever. Oh, here's Rob Palmer who's giving me all sorts of suggestions. Is there, as you can see, uh, has written about how meteorites and asteroids can go green. Scientists. The debrief. Oh, he's found some more for me. Ooh. The debrief. Oh, so can we use the debrief? He's saying that the debrief is the same um, same um, source that printed the um, Leslie Keen article recently in 2023. Is, that, is the debrief considered a reliable source? Rob, can you tell me if the debrief is considered a reliable source? Let's see what he's giving me here. So he's giving me Okay, that's the one I okay, I already have that one. He gave me that. So he's giving me this. All right, this is a debrief. Gosh, I don't know. Can we use the debrief? Because is that a reliable? Is that a reliable source? I mean, New York Times is. Oh, it is used on the Gresh page, he says. All right, so I'm going to use this. So this is another citation that we're going to use. This is the Hudson Valley UFOs, how the media reacted to a 1980s UFO flap. And this is from Jazz Shaw, July 11th, 2022. Okay, so since I'm going to be citing this raw, it's going to be easier. <laughs> and, well, it won't take so long as it did over here. My gosh. Side web. Shaw. Jazz. Here's the title. Oh my gosh. I can't stand this. Here that are.
Okay, today is the date. Even though it is giving me the wrong date. This is the debrief. The debrief.org. See, there is. This is where I caught the error a minute ago because it had the www in there. All right, I'll copy that. Put it in here. Get rid of this. Publisher is the D E B R I E F. Here's the URL. Oops. Fingers getting weird. Okay, there. D E B R I E F. Okay, so I'm putting, see where it says rep name? I could put anything in there. I could write, Merry Christmas. I could write Donald Duck. I could write anything I want in there. It's just a it's just a code that the person who's making the citation is using. It's 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 not important. July eleventh, twenty twenty two. I like to copy and paste a lot because what it does is it makes sure I've spelled it right. And Wikipedia, everything has to be spelled correctly, and, and you know. Things need to be where they are. This one. Archive it. it. Has not been archived. Archive. <laughs> oh, he's a book. Oh, this is the Night Siege. This is what the person tried to put in there is the Night Siege, Rob. Um, you missed the beginning part of my uh, talk. Somebody tried to use the nice Night Siege, but it's not considered a reliable source. So I could put it under, I could put the book under further reading or something because somebody already says on the talk page for this that we can't use it. It's not considered a reliable source. But I could put it under further reading. People think we're trying to hide stuff. Good gracious. Jiminy Christmas. Come on, archive already. <laughs> Robert, you're bad. Andale, pues. Vámonos. La, 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 la. Doesn't want to archive. It's taking too long. Taking too long. Yeah, baby, it's taking too long. Do, 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 Oh, come on. Okay, here's the here's the night siege. Well, while that's doing that, the Hudson Valley UFO sightings by Heinrich. Okay, this is um because it's a book and it's fringe, um, it's not allowing me to use this as a citation. I suppose I could use it as a citation if I said. According to Heinrich, 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 Alan Heinrich, according to Alan, J. Allen, this is what he says in this book. I could use that. But the thing is, is that I don't have this book, so I can't look in the book to tell me what's in the book. So I'm going to put this down at the bottom of this article. Remember, well, I'm still waiting for this to archive, huh? Did it archive? Oh, and Skeptoid. Dang. Rob, here, I'm going to give this to you. Any chance maybe I could get you to, to archive that sucker so I can move on.org with this darn thing? Because if you don't archive the links, then you can have link rot where where it doesn't. Okay, never mind. I got it, Rob. Oh, maybe not. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, it archived. Archive URL. And this is an old archive. So this is from July 11th, 2022. No, September 28th, 2023. Okay, let's see if we did that right. Something's, something's missing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not showing. <laughs> All right, John Craig. There it is. That's that one. No, that's two. Here's the Moscow. That's three. Here's the evening news. That's four. Here's off gang. That's one. The New York Times is not showing on the list. And deep, oh, because I'm not using them yet. Duh. Do, 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 do. I'm telling you, you guys, you're watching me. If I can do, I can do this, you can do this. I'm just making mistakes one after another, but that's okay. It's cool that I can show you that even senior editors like myself make mistakes all the time, debrief. All right, now all of them should show. I just see, there they are, there, there's two and three. And there they are. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is exactly what we got. Now we have another one. I am told that there is a Skeptoid episode on it. Thank you, Rob. Here's the Skeptoid episode, Hudson Valley UFO Mystery. Da, da, da. Okay, looks like it's got a lot of good content on it. Let's add that as well, as well. It's Brian Dunning. I think that'll be enough. I don't need all this other garbage right here. Look right. Yeah. Okay. That's the URL I want. So I'm going to use site web. Here's the URL. Dunning. Ryan. The Hudson Valley UFO mystery. See, if you're doing it yourself and not trying to go back and redo stuff. Wait. That's lowercase because it's a website. Um, then it's easier. Step toid. I mean, I could put, like I said, I could put anything I want in that little box I want. Archive it. November 21st, 2017. Let's archive that. And um, we're going to get 
this arcade date will be the same as today, even though it's only the 17th. Somebody needs to explain that to me. Oh, there's a template. What is the template? What's the code for it, Rob? Skeptoid Media? What code do I use? I click the link and it gives me this. It gives me, oh, you can't see that. It gives me what a template looks like. I click the link, Rob, and this is what it gives me. I do not see Skeptoid template on here. I can click the link till the cows come home. Oh, is it? Oh, I just didn't highlight the whole thing. Let me see. No, it's not giving me a... No, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Did we finally get that to load? Here it is. Okay. So view archive page. Here's the archive. Put that in here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I've never done that before. He's showing me a template. Let me see what that looks like. Well, where would you put the archive in there? Ah, I've already done it. Okay, so now if we did this right. Oh, I've got to use it up here. I use it somewhere. Skip to it. I should be making sense here eventually. Oh, the time mismatch. Nice. Just can't get yourself all upset about these things, you know? Those are the things that I'm not using. Oh, December 4th, 2023. It's saying it was archived already and it wants me to use this date. Whatever, I'm not gonna argue with you. Okay, it's all cleaned up. Okay, so the other thing that I can put in here is I know Brian Dunning has a Wikipedia page, so I'm gonna hyperlink to his Wikipedia page right there. And I will do that by going over here and doing R, Author link equals Brian Denning. Author 
that's I think what it's called. So I did this right. And that pulls up to Brian Denning. Ta da! Am I done? Okay, I don't see anything. Nobody's saying anything to me on Facebook. So I'm done on that. Okay. So Rob's giving me two new ones. Oh, here's what we got to do is we got to put the. Um, so here's what we're working with. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and I have psychic vibration. So it's eight. And then I have, I want to put external links or further reading to Night Siege, which is this. So how do I put the further readings? What template do I use? Let's go back again to <laughs> this page I keep closing. <laughs> uh, Gulf Breeze UFO incident. All right, here it is. I know I'd use further reading right here. Further reading. Okay, here's what further reading looks like it's an asterisk, and then the last name, first name, the date the name of it and then we have all this other stuff in here citation to it let's see if we do this right asterisk make it right up there We're trying, to, we're trying to do this off of when. Um, one screen, J. Allen. J. Allen. Comma, J. Allen. Okay. The date in parentheses. We have a date. I guess I'll look on Amazon. I'll go here. And then, well, somebody else wants to find it for me. <laughs> Here's the title. Okay, then I have a citation. Where's the ISBN number? Aren't I supposed to put that there somewhere? Oh, cite book. All right, so let's use a cite book. Site book. H Y N E K J N. I wonder if they does he put a dot after the J? Yeah, he sure does. Okay. Title. We don't know the date. Do we know who the publisher is? Valentine Books. Do we know the location? Nope. Let's let's look this up on Amazon, you guys. It's getting silly that I have to keep looking this up.
Who sees this one? May 1st, 1998. Don't let me forget, I got to put that in here too. ISBN. Let's fit. Did it say I was there? Were you? I was there. I was on the Taconic Parkway and saw the craft. It was exactly as the witnesses described. The sighting haunts me to this day. I remember it like it happened yesterday. It is something I will never forget. I'm a train observer. The object was, without question, an alien craft. My question is, what were they doing? Okay. Here is the ISB number. And that addition, do I have an addition? English Oh second expanded edition So this is the Wellen publications for for well but this is the one I'm using here That's the ISB number So this would be the first edition Do I write first? Yeah. Um, oh, location, that's what I was looking for. This is Kindle, that's why. Is this Kindle? Format Kindle, gee, Gerbic. Here's the paperback. Yeah, but this is Zimmerman. That's not who we went. Oh, look, Hudson Valley UFOs. Oh, it's another book. Goodness gracious. Okay, so don't let me forget. There's another one. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to be done with that. All right. So we're just going to go with that. So I'm not going to take the first edition because I'm not 100% sure it's the first edition. But let's make sure that that is the right year. Because that says Kindle. But that makes sense because you, they wouldn't have had a Kindle in 1998. This is somebody selling it on their own. Okay, let's just, let's go with that. Okay. Now, um, I believe this guy has a Wikipedia. Oh, 19, I have a date now, don't I? Now, he has a Wikipedia page. One is positive. Time's going to open this. H Y N E K. Okay, he does have a Wikipedia page, and it's that is it. Oh, look at 
like it. This page needs work. Let's rewrite it, but not right now. Okay, so let's fix this so it says author equals um, J Allen H Y N K bar right there. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's see if we got it. Further reading. Beauty, five. And then see, I put an author link so it'll go right to his, his page. Dun, da, 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 Night Siege, 1998. Okay, let's do this one more further reading that we just found. I guess Rob's gone away. Okay, so it's just you and I, guys. Okay, so this is the book that I've just put in there. And I cannot cite this book because this book is not a reliable source. It's not considered, um, um, it's because it's fringe. So I'm going to, we already know that. I don't want to get into an argument with anybody. And that is this right here. Remember on the talk page, somebody tried to use that as a citation. And they said, it does not meet sourcing standards explained at re general reliability of sources or um, the fringe topic they cannot be used as a primary source so um i'm not going to try to use this well for number one i don't own the book so i can't read the book to find out what to put in there these other newspaper clippings and things like that i can look at it and i can see what they say so i can't do that with the book because i don't own the book Right. Okay. So I can't use the book as a citation for two reasons. One is because I don't know what it says because I don't own it. And number two, because it's already saying it's not a primary source, but I can add it for further reading and give a citation to it for people to look up on their own. And if they're curious, they could go here and they could find it and order it off of whatever site they want to order it off of. No problem. I have no problem doing that. That's fine. Now, let's put the other article that we just found when we were on Amazon, this other book, oh, Hudson Valley UFOs by Linda Zimmerman. Okay, she's got two. This is the paperback. Let's use the paperback. And Okay, so... In other words, I can't cite it because I can't read it. I don't know what's in here, but I can leave it as a, um, I can leave it as a, if you guys are interested, you might want to check this out. C-I-M-M-E-R-M-A-N-N. -N. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy what we already did. So here. I'm going to put an asterisk. And then the date. Is this date? Z-I-M-M-E-R-M-A-N-N. -N. Z -I -M -M -E -R -M -A -N -N. So I want to make sure I get this right. Here's the date. Okay, here's the title. Okay, now I'm going to put the site book. Site book. Title. Date. It's May 1st, 1998. Publisher is Eagle Press. Okay. 
and put the ISBN number in here. It doesn't matter, 10 or 13, I don't think it matters. Anything else I need to put in here? In addition, Okay, we do need to look and see if Linda Zimmerman has a Wikipedia page. Let me look over here on this other screen. It's getting so complicated over there. Nope, she does not have a Wikipedia page. So I can't author link to her. That looks fine, doesn't it? Got the ISB number, pop eagle, E A G L E P R E S S. Okay, let's see if we did this right. Okay, there's two. Linda Zimmerman. And see, she's not highlighted because these people have Wikipedia pages. These other people do not have Wikipedia pages. So I'm going to get rid of her link because I don't need that. I don't need this archive. I just needed to archive it. Good, 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 fine, like that. I got this on here twice. Night Siege, I cannot use that anymore. Okay, so here's here's where we are. Okay, here's what we got. Uh, here's what we're using to write the Wikipedia page with the exception of not this one and not this one. Five and six are books that are in the further reading section. Okay, we are, we're set. I think we got that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Craig, Moscow, Evening News, Off Gang, New York Times, Debrief, and Skeptoid. That's seven. Okay, then up here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is the second page of this one. We did it. We've done it. We have our work cut out for us now. But what I've done is we've got all of our, we've got the whole page formatted. We've got the, um, all the citations in here. This is how I edit. Now, other people edit it differently. And it would have been faster if I was using my second screen or a third screen here and not doing it so you guys could watch all five of you, two of you. And I'm one of them. So all one of you. The one person who's still watching. Hi, Rob. He's still watching? Okay. One minute ago. Yeah. Rob is the only person watching. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. On a rainy day, you guys will sit and watch this. You say, I want to know how people edit. I want to see the nuts and bolts. So different people do it different ways. This is how I do it. I get my citations together and I put them up in tabs and then I get them all cited and then I can just go to town. And every time I every time I write something in here in this part, then I just and and let's let's get this external links out of here because obviously external links are not going to go there. Um. So each time I do this, I'm going to. Um, then I just take these, like, let's say I'm reading the debrief and I'm quoting from the debrief. I use that. If I'm quoting from the New York Times, I write, I use that. And it just goes really quick. Boom, 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 boom. As you quote from them or you talk about it. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put these in order. This is from 2017. This is from 2021. I want the oldest first. 
This is 22. This is 84, so that's got to go first. This is from 88, so that's got to go second. This is from 88. And this is from 85. Go second, and this is the second page for that. So here's the oldest one, 84, 85, the second page for the 85. This is from 88. This is from 88, 2017, 2021, and 2022. Ah, we have one more we're going to use. I forgot. And this is a book. And I have the book. It's sitting in my little hands. So you guys can't see it right now. So this is Schaefer, S-H-E-A-F-F-E-R, Robert. He has a Wikipedia page also. Date. And it's got to be italicized. Two thousand eleven. Publisher is eight space. There is a location in here. I don't have an access date because I'm not looking at it online. ISBN 978 146 01577. Let's give it a URL. Shaker. Okay, so and then I'm using, I know what page I'm using because there's only one page, 41. If there was multiple pages, you'd put in here like you would put 41 to 56 or whatever. You would put it in this area where it says pages, but we're only one page. Addition. No, I'm 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 editing. I'm still doing the live feed. I'm rewriting this with the B page. No. Still. Okay, I don't see an addition number. Insert. Like I said, everybody does this a little bit different. Some people like to do all this, they go through and they do the author links last. So, and some people like to, don't even use author links. Most people don't. Everybody does it a little bit differently. And this is how I do it. I like to make it complete as I'm going. Okay, so let's see if we did this right. See, I haven't even saved it once yet. Mm -hmm. It's saying I got it right. This makes it retrieve. There you go. See how it's blue right there and how this is purple? I think that's my browser that's making it, that does it. If I was to go to that and click on that, I think it would 
change the color. Okay, so I think we have all our citations. Oh, oh, Rob says he's doing his taxes. And so many, Michelle Linger Lynch, she says, I live in the Hudson Valley. I knew one credible person that swears they saw a UFO up here years ago. Hmm. I wonder why if the Hudson Valley has a lot more. I've never been there before. I wonder if it has a lot of military bases or a lot of traffic or or it has something that makes it. <laughs> what did I type in here? <laughs> I don't know what I just typed in here. <laughs> oh, I'm doing two things at once. What do I want to say here? I can say whatever I want in here. I could write down the book if I wanted to. Have the basics and citations done next to the page creation. Next to the body. Okay, I'm going to publish it. So now, if you were looking at my sandbox right now, this is what you would see. Exactly this. So we have all our citations. We even have two further readings. And I have kept the lead. And the lead I always do last, but that's what was in there before. I have an info box. I would like to fill it out because that's pretty bland. And I have this body that was there before so already much bigger than what was there to begin with right before i think it was four citations here it is here's what it was before one two three four five it was five citations in this and now we look like 10 citations and we have one more now we have to go through the articles and we have like i said i don't know anything about this so we're going we're gonna to use these citations that we have here to decide what to write in here, keeping it as neutral as we can and factual as well. So let's do this. Um, I'm going to put these in here. So in case you guys want to take a look yourself, this is, and let's see what we can create. All right. Obviously, you can't read Schaefer's book. Putting them all for anybody who's following along who wants to watch me and help me edit this. Now, this is a little bit more complicated because it's not, it's not my opinion. It's what the sites say. So this is the New York Times article from 1984. This is August 25th, 1984. And the citing happened during the summer of 1984, the summer. So this article in the New York Times is being written at the time that this has happened so it may not have how do i say this let me go back over here so it may not have um a lot of thought necessarily and research done because it is right at the fact right after the fact and i know it's the new york times they have journalistic integrity they are considered to have journalistic integrity by wikipedia but it is right after the event. Plus, keeping in mind, uh, newspapers and everybody, every one of these, the headlines are trying to sell something. They're trying to sell by getting clicks. They're trying to get sell newspapers. So I haven't read this. It doesn't very look long. And I just put a link to it in the... Um, in the Facebook thing. It 
so that you guys can look at that. Okay. All right. Nobody's any comments. So I'm starting out with the New York Times. I mean, instead of you sitting here staring at me, <laughs> I will pull it up. I will read this. To, well, we're not going to read it. I'm not going to read it out loud. I don't have that great a speaking voice. Okay, so our Reddit, that's interesting. So this is kind of firsthand. So going back to the what we have here. So we have the event. We have an investigation. We have an eyewitness reports area. We have UFO research group response or whatever we want to call that, if there is even response, things in the media. And that's the sections we've got. So what I've just read seems to be Some, would you call this just firsthand reports or would you say that this is the event? Eyewitness reports and event. So is there, there isn't an actual day. It looks like it happened over several days, right? Do we have, we don't have a date, right? We just say, Okay, so here he's saying that he burst into a room, that there was a public hearing, and then he's saying the UFOs are outside right now. 
And then a night before that, somebody said they saw something. So it looks like it happened over multiple days. And these are what they saw. So this person, Pollard, said, I saw a gigantic triangle with lights about 30 feet off the ground hovering. Then it turned off its lights and shot straight up, straight up. And that's when I said, wait a minute. Um, thousands of residents have reported strange objects in the sky, each usually in a V shape or a circle about the size of a football field, absolutely noiseless and outlined in brilliant lights of white, red, or green. So these are all eyewitness. Okay. They set up a hotline. Okay, a hotline had been set up to field inquiries could be in the section for event. Okay, this one says, if it's not a UFO, I wouldn't know exactly what it is and I want it stopped. You can just see her putting her head, foot down. I want it stopped. But we don't know if she's seen it, right? It's not an eyewitness account. Oh, yeah. Here it is. It was among those who reported the most recent sighting this past Monday night. She's coming home. I saw it over the pond, high enough to clear the trees, traveling south. It wasn't an airplane. It wasn't a helicopter. It wasn't hand gliders. No sound at all. Okay. This past Monday night. So this is August 25th, 1984. August. Come on. Come on. August 24th is a Friday. Is it the 24th? August 25th. Okay. August 25th, 1984 was a Saturday. So past Monday was the 20th. So the 20th. So this woman saw. So that was, I better write that on a piece of paper. August 20th, 1984. That gives us something to go with. The article is written on the 25th. 1984, August. So we now know that this thing was at least on the 25th, uh, the 20th of April uh, of August, 1984. That gives us a date. Here's another, okay, here's where she's talking about. Same woman, Lund. Okay, the state and local police are flooded with calls each time the objects are seen. So many of the sightings have been reported by police officers on patrol. Okay, so here there, there is letting you know, again, it's multiple days. One officer, which is responsible for, it, for the area in which the sightings have been, followed the object. So he tracked it to the Stormville Airport. Did we use the word Stormville Airport in here somewhere? Stewart International Airport. Huh. Is I wonder if Stormville is an airport. Stormville Airport. I'm writing that down. So we have a location. It was, he tracked it down to the Stormville Airport. It was a group of light planes. They fly in formation and they did it as a hoax. There's no violation of the law. Um, he refused to give the name of the trooper, the pilots the trooper spoke to. Oh, the airport, a small field in Dutchess County was deserted the other evening. And they had seen no activity in recent nights, so only some. So Dutchess County. Okay. 
Some wondered how airplanes could hover over an object or how they could shoot straight up in the other. Others said they'd seen the hoaxers, but they'd also seen something different. Okay, so he's seen them five or six times. So he, Mr. Pollard is saying that he saw something one time and then he saw the hoaxers five or six times. So, all right. So is this still eyewitness? The FAA didn't seem interested. Why would we care about a UFO? If the pilots are up there have a clearance and at the right altitude, we don't care what planet he comes from. So that's kind of flippant. Those people are actually scared. If they really thought it was a UFO, that's kind of scary. Um, the same Lund person, she sure got an awful lot. Press for additional comment. The director of the Eastern region of the FAA said of the hoaxers, there was no regulations prohibiting planes from filing, flying information. They can fly as close together as they feel safe. In areas of sparse population, planes could low as 500 feet. So, so this guy, Gertzkin, he is a lawyer and he organized a meeting and he invited UFO experts and local officials. Okay. Then this Heinrich person, who's this guy who's got a Wikipedia page, he is ahead of the Center for UFO Studies, a private group that acts as a clearinghouse for UFO F reports. All right, this is getting to what UFO people say. If you have highly trained technical people, lawyers, CPAs, government people, you have to look into it. So this is the argument from authority that people who are professionals, you have to take them seriously. Well, yeah, you should take it seriously. But if these have been people who are about what they would have called a lower class. I use that in quotes. Uh, would you would you say, oh, I'm sorry, we can't look into it because these people are not what we call educated? I mean, it's very insulting. Um, and then it should be looked into, but it, it doesn't mean that people are lying, right? So it's not a case of people are lying or not lying. The experts should have plenty of photographs to study. We're seeing quite a few UFO photos. Okay. People come in and hand you the film and say, be careful with these. We're going to answer it because. All right. So there should be photos. Now let's take a quick look. Go to Wikimedia Commons. Search Wikimedia Commons for. Um, Hudson Valley UFO. Let's see what that says. Because we can only use photographs that have been uploaded by somebody. Okay. How about 1984? 1984 UFO. like anything no no the night picture okay so nobody has uploaded a photo What a shame, because it says there's a whole bunch of photos. And I think I saw it right over here on the drudge. No, that's somebody made it. That's a drawing. So unfortunately, we have no artwork that we can use because the artwork has to be uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. I can't just take something off the Internet. It has to be uploaded by the person who owns the photograph. So this article will not have a photograph, even though the New York Times article says there are photographs. So here we are. New York Times. Ah, Rob said he made an edit while you were editing. You can use it as a lesson as to what to do if this happens. You made an edit to my sandbox or you made an edit to, to here?
Yeah, there he is. He edited the actual Wikipedia page that I'm not working on. He made one fix in the punctuation. Well, that's fine, Rob. I'm totally rewriting the whole page. So that's the page I'm not working on. I'm working my on my sandbox, and you better keep your fingers out of my sandbox. No cats in sandboxes. Okay. Local residents reported seeing objects of about the size of a football stand. Okay, according to New York Times. Flashing lights. Okay, we don't see that in the New York Times article. The objects seen were also described as being able to shoot straight up in the sky and hover for long periods of time. Okay, let's start. You guys ready? I'm ready. Ooh, here we go. The event. What do we know about the event from the New York Times article? We know that this is true. This is the event. Local residents reported seeing objects were about the size of an American football field usually in a V-shape or a circle, according to the New York Times. Objects were described as having flashing lights. That is also true. Right? Draven say I have in there for experience. Okay. This is also true. This is the event. According to the New York Times, is this what the event looked like? Over a period of time, I need to put something local residents report. Okay, we know it was happening in August of 1984. We know that on the 20th, there was a sighting, and we know that the newspaper article was written on the 25th. So, and it went on for several days. So we can say in August of 1984. In August of 1984 or in August 1984? 1984. Capital there. In August 1984, that's when this was happening. Residents reported seeing re, residents reported residents in according to the New York Times. Brewster. I don't know this area, so. Hi, interstate. Eighty-four. Throughout northern Westchester County, Dutchess and Putnam counties in western Connecticut. This summer, thousands of residents have reported strange objects in the sky, each usually a V-shape or a circle. Okay, so let's take this, put it over here. And let's just look at this, what it says. Throughout, okay, on August, 
put that. I don't, I'm going to take out the word local because they're all, we don't know if they're local. Residents reported seeing objects. Okay, so I've copied that. Now these are already, see how these have already got the brackets on them? Then I don't have to do it again down here. Do I need to copy Northern? No, I don't. Residents reported seeing objects that were about the size of American football field. Thousands of residents. Okay, so that's okay. We can say that. Okay, that's also from the New York Times. So I need to. Okay. Usually a V-shape or a circle about the size of a football. Noiseless. And... Absolutely. Usually we shape according to the New York Times. Absolutely noiseless and outlined in brilliant lights of white, red, or green. Flashing lights. Does this article say anything about flashing lights? Nope, it doesn't say flashing anywhere. Brilliant lights of white, red, or green. Okay, so the objects seen were described as having flashing lights. That is not in the New York Times anywhere. Hover. straight up in the air. Okay. So this is all according to the New York Times. In August 1984, Northern West Chester County, Dutchess and Putman Counties I think I need to put a comma there, make it happy. And Western Connecticut, thousands of residents are purchasing objects that are about the size of American football field. Usually in a V-shape or a circle according to the New York Times. Absolutely noiseless and outlined in brilliant lights of white, red, or green. The objects seen were also described as being made, being able to shoot straight up in the sky and hover in the air for extended periods of time. Okay, that's all a part of the event that happened over the August 1984. Okay, so that's all coming from that article, the New York Times. So I'm putting that right here. Um, now we know it's August, so let's say August 1984, to be more specific. And if we get a better feel for this, I know it says the New York Times says the summer. But we, we okay, so this should have, um, okay, so that's good. Let's see, now that's the event. Is that what happened? That's what happens. That's what the event is. Okay, so then now we want to look and see if we can add something to the investigation. Eyewitness reports, that's what we want, right? We want eyewitness reports and we want that before we want the investigation because eyewitness reports would come before an investigation. 
And there may not be a UFO research group response. I don't know. Find out. So let's look this over again and see if we can pull anything else out of here. This woman, um, Lund, Lund, she's quoted a lot. Let's see who else is quoted in here again. So let's look it over again. Thirty feet off the ground. Okay, eyewitness reports. So this guy right here, William A. Pollard. So should I do it? Is Oops, thought I copied it. William Pollard. Said to the New York Times, said. I said recounted. Did he say the lights of the object? I'm trying to do it in my own words because that's what's important. Otherwise, I have to quote everything. Okay. This is how I kind of do it. So I put it in my own words just to kind of read it and then go back and try to say it. A gigantic triangle with lights. What okay. that? It turned off its lights and shot straight up. It shot straight up after turning off its lights. Is that... And it turned off its lights. If it turned off its lights and shot straight up, how do you know? Does it turn its lights back on once it's up high? Well, I, I'm not, I can't, I can't question this guy. This is just what he said. Okay. So that's what he says. William A. Puller driving on Interstate 84 recounted to the New York Times that he saw off in a field an object hovering about 30 feet from the ground, a gigantic triangle with lights, quotes. It shot straight up after turning off its lights. Okay, that's also from the New York Times. Boom. Okay. 
what else we got for eyewitnesses? I mean, he's talking about his neighbors had seen something, but that's not an eyewitness account. Okay, we got that. Okay, this is interesting. A, a hotline had been set up to field inquiries. A hotline in Wishersure. Let's go back to investigation, or should that be under... Oh, hi, Katie. This is Ariadne. Should that be under event or investigation? Um, at line to field calls. say that and then we can quote the New York Times again part of the investigation I guess then okay so let's stop but not talk about the hoax for a second this woman right here Irene Lynn Okay, see, I can't say stuff like she was most upset or anything like that because that's my opinion and that this article isn't supposed to be about my opinion. So I, I can't say that even though it's inferred, she's very upset. So I have to be neutral and say she reported the most, okay, she reported a sighting on this past Monday night, which we said was August 20th, 1984. Okay. This twentieth. Um. Okay. At nine p.m. Over a pond, just clearing the trees. There was no sound at all. You could hear the crickets. I'll see that. Why is that? Oh, because it's italics.
Uh, but like it let us know we it knew we were watching. It was scary. It went on for about 10 minutes. Okay. Let's quote this entirely, even though I don't like using so much quote. But because it's an eyewitness report, I think it's important that we have all of this in here. Let's make sure I got those quotes in here right. Okay. She said it was heading south over a pond, just clearing the trees. There was no sound at all. You could hear the crickets about three quarters the size of my house with an L-shaped structure suspended underneath it. At one point, all the lights went green, then red, and then went back to a pattern of green and red and white. I felt like it was letting us know it knew we were watching it. That was scary. It went on for about 10 minutes. Okay, so that's another good eyewitness thing. Okay. We have polar. Is that the first guy we used? Okay, polar again. So really, there's only two people they've interviewed here in this New York Times article. It seemed like they had interviewed a lot of people, but there's only two people, Pollard and Lund. So... The first thing I saw... Okay, I've seen those jerks... Absolutely, Richard. Okay, so we can say, go back and talk about Pollard saying that because we haven't introduced it. All right, we can say Pollard um, said he had seen the lights many times. But the first time was very different from everything we saw later. The first time he said that the first thing I saw was rigid. Okay, so that's all from the New York Times. All right. William Polar driving under center, kind of near, they saw off in a field an object hovering about 30 feet from the ground, a gigantic triangle of lights that shot straight up after turning off the lights. He'd seen the lights many times, but the first time was very different from everything he said he saw. The first time he said that the first time. First time is very different from what he saw later. It 
was how about that? that better? First time it's very different from everything you saw later. It was rigid. A comma there that should do it. Does he call it an object or does he call it a light? Here she's still upset. But that is not an eyewitness account. Is the person who works at the the photo place it says they see a lot of photos. It's interesting that if there's a lot of photos, where are the photos? I'm curious. Let's see what happens if I put it in the in here. Mm -hmm. images oops I've got the wrong missed the one unsolved mysteries oh dear this son says I'm sorry, that just looks like a bunch of lights on, on planes. Okay, so I can't use this article because it's the U.S. Sun, and that is not a reliable source. Oh, sad, because there's photos. Credit the History Channel. Oh, from 83 to 86. Okay, well, I can't use anything here. This is coming from a not a reliable source. There's the debrief. We're using that. We've got night siege already. There goes times. What does it say? 2013. Not this is nineteen eighty three. So it's the wrong time, not nineteen eighty four.
Okay, so this article looks like it's saying the same things that the other, the New York Times does. Oh my goodness. Make probes, not war. Looks like people are having fun with it. Oh, these are great costumes. Look at this. Poughkeepsie Journal. It could be explained as extraterrestrial. We had someone try to photograph the object, but it avoided being filmed. Okay. Okay, it says here, the pilot who asked not to be identified said he and others test their skills by flying in a V-shape with a rotating beacon and navigational lights. He said that the formation might appear motionless from the ground because it is so wide and can be seen from long distances. I do think people are ignorant about flying and allow imagination to make up for a lot of things. Oh, Heinrich really relies on, on eyewitness testimony. He says some of them are not um, pilots with planes. So sometimes there's aliens up there and sometimes there are pilots and they're all there at the same time. Like one night it's pilots, one night it's, and they're not seeing each other. Okay, this is a pretty good article, but I'm going to just set it here. I'm not going to use it right now because um, maybe I should. Let me, let me jot it down so I don't have to come, keep coming back and forth to it so much. This is June 28th, 1984. It's the P-O-U-G-H-K-E-E-P. S-I-E journal. It's page 15. It's William LaRue. Probe of mysterious V-shaped whitens. Okay. Said that. Oh, first let's get this New York Times over here. So this will be perfect for putting in the investigation part, I think.
Not really weird. So we're going to use the template for newspaper. Pipsy, P O U G H K E E P S I E. Now, I always suggest you should use, I have a piece of paper right nearby. Save you so much trouble. Page 15. All right, I am getting really tired, so I'm about done. Let's see if we got this right. So this is 1984. So this is going to be strange. Okay, this is. Let me let me finish this New York Times article. Okay, so we've got the eyewitness reports from the New York Times. There may be more. The investigation set up a hotline to fill calls. And so we want to put... And he's just looking into it. All right, so this is what we need to have in there. Okay. An officer of Troop K, who is unnamed, of Troop K, State Police. Followed him the lights to the Stormville Airport in Dutchess County. All right. It was a group of light planes. They fly in formation, so they can't be seen. The it's bright lights that they turn from one color. It's the lights that get the shape to the UFO. Okay, this is so. Let's write that in investigation. I think I should put it. State police officer Troop K. To back to his sergeant. The sergeant? Sergeant. To his sergeant. To sergeant this guy. To All right. 
this has got to go here. Um, not sure I want that there now. Maybe this should go down here. I'll see. State police officer of Troop K followed the lights to the Stormville Airport in Dutchess County and reported back to Sergeant Ken Kennedy Sparrow. It was a group of light planes. They fly in formation. The undersides and under the wings are painted black so they can be seen from the ground. The planes are bright lights that they can turn from one color to another. It's the lights that give the shape to the UFO. Boom. Okay. Deserted, a small field. Which is Right, why well, care about a UFO? Did they talk to the FAA? Okay, Deputy Director of the Eastern Region of the FAA. I need to put this in with these. Will that work? F A A. F A A. Get the right thing. And I can go there. And then come over here. That's kind of far right there. According to Timothy A. Harnett, Harnett, the deputy director of the Eastern Rivers FAA, he says what? Planes can fly as close together as they feel safe.
So anything else by the FAA? All right. So the only thing that needs to probably be added, this is also the, oh, I keep forgetting that. You gotta make it turn yellow. See so why I say you have to have this on here. The video on the Easter Age of the title. Okay, when planes can fly as close together as they feel safe, and every spare pocket could, could fly as low as 500 feet. Okay, so have we used up this article? So this is Hendrick says you have to look into it. And then this people at the photo finish place say there's a lot of photos, but I'm not seeing that this needs to be used. Is this the guy I just quoted? Yeah, I did. Okay. There are no regulations prohibiting planes from flying in formation. The trooper spoke to a couple of the pilots and they're getting a kick out of it. There's no violation of the law. Let's see about putting that over here. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, so I think we're done for the moment because it is 11. 8.30, 9.30, So three and a half hours I've been sitting here. I haven't moved. Let's make this live. I like how this is going together so far. What's this? Okay, that's got to go. So what is that doing in there? I'm going to remove all this. Fresh. Okay, I'm pretty pleased. So we've got almost the whole thing, all almost everything done. Done, done for the night. Okay, let's hit those changes now. So the New York Times article I've gone through a bunch of times. I'm going to close that tab. The tab is gone. So that's how I go through is I go through one at a time. 
and add little bits of it to whatever section it needs to be added. Trying to use my own words as much as possible if I can to sum it up, but because you don't want to over quote too much. And these, all these numbers right here are other citations I will actually be using. So here's, I'm trying to, I want to fill these areas in more. The event, eyewitness reports, an investigation, if there is a response in the UFO community, and then like anything in the media, like, you know, movies that have come from it, or like it was in a song, mentioned in a song or something like that. That kind of thing. So I have this set. Now, I, I have all these tabs open here that I still got to go through, but it's going to go faster because these are just going to add to the sections we already have. We don't need the calendar anymore. Close that. Close that. So here's where we are. This, 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 that, 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 that. And then the article should be finished. So another three hours, maybe. And like I said, it should be a lot faster because it's already, everything cited. You saw how quick it was for me to just add that citation on there. And I think we got the bones set up really nice, strong. Oh, and the book that's right here too. But like I said, it's only like a half of, half of a, it's like a paragraph long that we'll use in there. It looks really good. I'm really pleased already. It's so much better than it was. Okay. So for those of you who are watching, which are probably nobody, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me. That was three and a half hours. That's what it's like to rewrite a Wikipedia page. Now I am skilled at this. I've done it many, many times. And the person who had made the edits before me had already found a whole bunch of good sources and they were already cited it almost took me longer to recite them correctly um, than if i had just found the citations on my own probably and then rob palmer found a, a bunch of citations he's found like three citations for me so that was great because i didn't have to spend time trying to find citations in that way so i think that this is what it feels like so i'm hoping it's i'm being open and showing you how this is done you you try to quote from the articles but you have to sum it up so it's not my opinion i i am a, i am a, um the editor my opinion does not matter so we're just trying to use the citations that were were created at the time and use those to um, add to the article Again, I can't use sites that are not reliable, but newspapers are reliable um, and some some other things like that are reliable. It, it's it's it kind of depends because the rules of fringe are quite strict. And as I showed you at the very beginning of this video, the there are rules about how it's worked. So it's not my opinion. Um, it is. It is um, what the article says. And you can see, you, you go back and forth on it. You're like, okay, can, should we use that? Should we not use that? You don't want to overquote, And you have to sum it up in your own words, but you can't sum it up in your own words where you're leading them. And, I, you know, this isn't final. I'm not publishing this. This is not the Wikipedia page. I'm, I need at least three more hours on this. So... Um, yeah, maybe even two, because it's really, I just have to read read those other citations and just plop them in. There is no photo, sadly. There's no photos that we can use. Um, and yeah, this should go really quick. Maybe two more hours. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I am tired. I have not moved for three and a half hours. Good. If I, I'm going to leave all these tabs open. If I close the tabs, that's fine because it's in my sandbox has all of them. But I'm going to leave it like that so I can just go through it really quickly. And go boom, 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 boom. And like I said, I've got them in, in order of how they 
um, how they were published. So it should be faster to be able to put those out. Gosh, I wish I wasn't so tired. I would just finish this tonight. But when you edit, when you're tired, you make mistakes. And some of these, you saw how the code is, it's kind of fiddly. And when you make a mistake, it could be just a missing uh, um, parentheses or a dash or a bar. And it can be very frustrating because you can't find it. And you can get yourself very upset. And so more time is spent. So it's best not to edit when you're really tired. And I am very tired right now. And I'm usually up late, but it's 11 o'clock. And I haven't had any coffee or anything. Oh, sorry, everybody. So, oh, Rob is still watching it. He says, good night. And he's all the way over there. <laughs> he's all the way in the East Coast. So good night, everybody. This video will be here for you to look at. And um, I'll see about doing another one to finish it off. We'll see. Take care, everybody.